Welcome back to... Oh. To finishing out that thought. Yeah, well, yeah welcome back to Politics Branch. The extended version. EP. So LP. yeah, yesterday I talked about how this, this Oberlin College in, in Ohio said, like, they, they staked their claim. They said, no matter what you do, if you're black, we're going to defend you. And th there's a reason I call this black supremacy. Because this is basically what they did with white people in the South 50 years ago. And no matter what you did, if you were white, you could get away with anything. Um, Which shouldn't be the case. Correct. That is that is not what we mean by everyone should have the same privileges as, as white people. Oh, it doesn't mean you should Damn get, it! It doesn't mean you should get the racial prejudice, you know, Flipped. privileges that yeah, yeah. Don't just flip it. Yeah, what they've basically done is they've like taken they just mad lived it, right? They they took this system of oppression and said, Okay, now let's just reverse that. And like, you know, let's let's swap out black for white. There, equality, justice. No, no, it's not. And I'm like, I'm a pro, like, if you can find a, oh, I'm not going to get that. If you can find a good way to, like, do reparations to where they're actually helpful, I'm even pro that. Like, that's how far left I am. Like, if you can, if you can, like, run a study that says, okay, if we do this thing, like, if we, if we, you know, do these black scholarships and we do these things, it will equalize the harm from Jim Crow. Like, if you can show that in a study, I'm actually for that. Now, I don't Me believe too, in, but like, I don't just believe it's realistic. Because just cutting a check isn't going to do anything. Like, people are going to spend that money, and then they're going to be back in the same poverty they were in. Uh, also, like... Um, so you mean under the same guise of, like, when we had the surplus, like, a couple decades ago, and they were like, let's just write everyone a check, and people will spend money, and they'll help yeah. to the economy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't do that. That's that's just a way to make rich people richer. What, what I would want would be something more akin to, like, here are programs... Here's this. Here's this new. Th here's the new way we're gonna do things, and it's gonna treat people better. And like, like you know, I don't know. I, I don't know how to. Dis it's really hard to have this discussion because part of what I believe in is like doing a study and find out what's effective. Because personally, I think class is a bigger deal than race today. It's just there are still people alive today that lived in Jim Crow, right? So you can't yeah. just say like, you, in my opinion, you can't say like, well. The rights are equal now. We did you know? it. Yeah, we did it. Like, no, like, you still, like, there are still people suffering from that oppression. And some of it still goes on, right? Like, I'm more likely to get, like, we were talking about that yesterday. I'm more likely to get certain jobs, or at least get to the interviews. It's the interview that's... that's when when someone looks at a job, a couple of um, resumes... Yeah. They, 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 look at the they see, let's see, should we interview John Smith or Yo Keisha? Yeah. They're they're gonna they're gonna pick John Smith in most cases because Yokisha is like probably gonna start is probably gonna start some trouble and, and, and have part, lip and bad mouth. And part people of that is and, is class, right? Like if they if you see John and you see Cletus, you're probably gonna pick John, right? Or oh god, what was that? Um, keep, keep going. No no no, no 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 no! Oh, can what? we back up? Nope. Oh, that sucks. You saw that too? That windmill. Yeah. That was probably a puzzle piece. Oh, well, we're, going we're back. gonna get another chance. Um. <laughs> God, what was that name? Oh, okay. Let me. Fi uh, Shathid. I've no, told no, no, this no, no, no. before. Well, leave, leave that for a minute. Um. No, my um my coworker had it had a name. Oh, right, right. So. Okay, grab that barrel. Yeah, yeah. Go back, go back. And grab the barrel, and then we'll blow on that windmill. So you had a coworker with a name. Uh, she, well, it was just that she she went and saw like to go somewhere to do a thing, okay. Uh -huh. And the name of the person working, it wasn't Tiffany. Uh huh. It was Piffany. Piffany. Yeah. That sounds like a I mean, that's a weird name. Okay. So it, it was just one of those things. It was like, oh, hey, okay. your dad's calling you back. You're uh, gonna have to call we... him. Okay, pause. What were we saying about Piffany? Uh, Piffany. No, no, no. I was saying, uh, so, oh, the, the, the new thing that Oberlin College did, well, they did it over the last few years, and they just lost, like, a $50 million lawsuit for this bullshit. And wait till you hear, oh, you can't kill those sharks. Cool. And, and wait till you hear this. Okay. You won't believe what happens so, on line 37. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there's a, there's a bakery near the college, and it's, like, a, a shop. It's not just a bakery. It's, a it's a falling to your death in the water. Bakery. Yeah. <laughs> and 
And, you know, it being next to a college, sometimes kids try to steal from it. You know, they, of they, course. they do fake, I you know, they come in with fake IDs. They try to shoplift because they just don't have, yeah, yeah. Because they, I think we got that. Wasn't it a puzzle piece? Yeah. yeah no, so we, we already have that. that again. All right, you control this. So then I'll, I'll tell you. Oh, wait, we did, we're just going down this. Uh, <laughs> there I go again. Back on your bullshit. Yeah, well, this is all you now. Remember, you can kill the sharks with the barrels. Apparently. Yeah. So, so the kid uh, who happens to be black uh, tries to use a fake ID to, to buy alcohol, gets like told no, and the shopkeeper like holds on to the fake ID. The guy like, lunges across the counter and tries to get it back. Was also simultaneously, which the owner noticed, trying to shoplift. Oh, I bet you could have grabbed onto that bag, whatever. Is, is, was also trying to shoplift a couple bottles of wine. Uh, and then he, like, violently attacked the shopkeeper to try to get out of there with the stolen wine and grab the, the fake ID back. And so, well, grab that. Knock over the thing. So, yeah, he did all of this bullshit. And, uh... And so the school started a, a smear campaign against the guy saying that... The, the, the shop owners saying, like, oh, they're just racist. And they scheduled... Like, they, they organized a protest against the shop. Keep in mind... All the shop did was try to stop a kid from stealing, and this is a normal thing that happens. Not only is this like a normal, this is a thing that's so normal that there are statistics to show that like actually racial minorities are being underrepresented in these cases because the shop owners are very self-conscious and don't want to get a black kid shot for stealing a bottle of wine. Yeah. But, or like they didn't just try to steal it, like there was a physical assault and someone else called the police. Like, right. there was an altercation because um, they, tr they, ba they robbed the guy. You know, this was a robbery. Yes. And, and so, like, they even, like, convinced the shop owners to... Uh, oh, Itty Bitty Biters. We have a, we have a neighbor cat named Itty Bitty. Yep. Yeah, anyway. they, they even intimidated the shop owners into agreeing to a lesser sentence for the kid. Because they were going to plead it down from a felony to a misdemeanor. Which is like the difference between like, heart, like a few months jail time and a slap on the wrist. Like that's what they were pleading it down to. And the judge actually said like, no, it's very clear you intimidated the shop owners into this. Even if they would have accepted it, they, we can't allow the state to accept this now because of your conduct. Because again, the school went out of its way. It told faculty to help. It, the faculty did help. Uh, our friend Leonard French did a big, like, two-hour breakdown on this little fiasco. In fact, that's what I'm quoting. But yeah, it was some hardcore, awful shit that this college did to this poor family that just sells just baked goods and, a, and a little bit of alcohol on the side, you know? And, aww. Well, <laughs> guess I'll just die. Oh, well, I got most of it. So yeah, it's, it's this real shame, but they went on and on for years they did stuff like they parked construction equipment in their parking lot to deny people to get in there they would send kids over to like harass them at night well i mean the kids took it upon themselves but they were being encouraged by the school the school gave everyone like they canceled classes so kids could go in and, and do this can, could go and protest in front of the bakery again for doing nothing they didn't even call the police that and again, the point of this is, Oberlin College is scamming people, right? Like, they get, they get tens or hundreds of millions of dollars a year in donations. They collect tens or hundreds of millions of dollars a year in, in tuition. Like, this is a rich school, and the whole point is just to say, we don't care what you do, we will protect you if you are blank. And once again, taking the Mad Lib, saying, okay, well, let's, let's take every tenant of white supremacy and just flip just, it. Yeah, just just change the change the words. And that's not cool. That's not cool, Overland. Like people saw what you did. People saw what you did so much that a jury said, like, yeah, that's worth about forty, fifty million dollars. Like uh, that, that's that level of bullshit. Do we blow on him? Uh, I'm so going. Can... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what we do. Oh, we just we just make a platform. How do we get higher? Creed, get... Creed, help us, Take Creed. Me. Higher or something, I don't know. Well, that thing in the background was, was shaking. Oh, and he's gonna pop us up. Ow. Okay. Well, that's oh, damn it, I made it too. 
I realized what the, the, the thing was, and then... Okay, cool. Ow. Oh. Well, I got the K. <laughs> yeah, and then I fell right off the vine because I wasn't holding the thing right. If okay, only now I just hold. only you held the thing. I held the thing! Hooray! Well, at least you can jetpack over. I don't want to jetpack. At pack. least you can jetpack. I don't want to. I'm not. I'm not confident that. At I... At least you're confident in your ability. I was not. I was not confident that that would be safe. So yeah, uh, the rule of the day: don't be an asshole to people just because. Don't you be want racist to, like... in any manner. Yeah. Well, and the point isn't like it's not like they're explicitly racist. It's more like we want to project this this thing because we want people to keep coming to our school because that's our shtick is we're the we're the school of social justice in fact somebody vandalized their uh their wikipedia page to say the school model motto is uh get woke go broke oh, because it's an extreme it's like seventy thousand dollars a year to go to the school Jeez. and it is not hey, wait yeah i got i got this uh, i don't got this okay now i got this okay Let's get in that barrel. Secret barrel. Barrel time. Um, Secret but oh, barrel. I did want to ask. Um, is it actually proper to confiscate a, uh, an ID that you think is fake? Because I yes. believe that's actually improper. No, it's uh, well, I, it might be different state to state, but in Nevada, you are supposed to hold on to a fake ID. In fact, uh, I well, you're allowed to. You're not. I don't think you're required to. Um, but I think you're allowed to. Like, I don't think you're allowed to hold on to fake money. I don't remember the details, because uh, it's been so long since I've worked in any of these little in these places. But yeah, you're supposed to hold on to a fake ID until someone can, someone with like a proper authority can verify. So like, if you work in a big company, like you work at a local casino, well, because there's I... gonna be someone on staff that like is an expert at spotting a fake ID. Oh uh, well, yeah. I, I'm gonna tag in. Uh, wait until I'm on solid ground. Okay. Like here-ish. Oh, blow on that. Because I bet that uh, wants to get the oh. Just okay. There we go. You never know if you don't blow. You never shine if you don't blow. I mean, did we blow it out? Okay. Well, that works. Yeah. I got two hit points. Just, just, just hang. I'll just hang back a little bit. Yeah. Um, because I remember there was an incident like. It was one of those like videos you see on Facebook. It's like, and and this is another incident of racism that has happened around the country again. There's a little entry thing in there. Uh huh. Um. Where it was like some guy was trying to confiscate um, well an ID from someone. It was they they had a native ID like they they were Native American. Oh okay, and they had like their 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 reservations ID or something. Yes, and it was it's a legit ID, and they oh, were trying oops. to confiscate it because I don't think that this is a real ID. I've never seen one of these before. I think you're allowed to to hold on to it for a certain reasonable amount of time. Like I don't think you're allowed to like detain someone, but you know you know what. If you know the answers to this, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the branch. Oh god.